Okay, so this is what I see that's happening with you guys. You guys have a gravity feed brush. I'm using a gravity feed brush here just for this example. Um, it, se it seems like um, you guys are spraying. You guys are definitely spraying with, uh, with the crown on. Okay, the crown is really just for transport. So you want to take the crown off and um, expose your needle. Okay, I don't want to lose it either. Um, but expose your needle. So what's happening with the needle is, is I don't know if you can see this. Okay, pardon the noise in the background. Um, but what happens with the needle when you're spraying, the paint tends to dry up around the needle. And when it dries up around the needle, it creates a seal between the needle and the surface around it. And that's what's causing the kickback. And that kickback means that the air pressure is not being released properly and it's shooting back into the gun and it's coming out the top. OK, so to avoid that, what you do is you constantly scrape with your fingernail. You're cleaning your tip while you're spraying. OK, again, you don't. This is why you don't want to spray with the crown on because you have to constantly clean the tip with your finger to avoid tip dry. All right. That's what's going to keep the, the, the kickback from happening. Secondly, what's happening when you're not spraying. OK, you're having fluid spill out. It's most likely because the nozzle, the needle is not connecting with the nozzle all the way. Okay. Let me show you how this looks. This has three parts to it. You have the crown, then you have the mid, then you have the, the base. I don't really know the technical name of these things, but you, you get the point. I want to show you what it is. This part right here, the second part, very, very important. Okay. This is where the air really flows. This is, this is the air uh, uh, regulator basically for the airbrush. Okay. This is what makes it happen. So you want to make sure you have a tight seal on that. If you don't have a tight seal and I notice you guys don't have a tight seal because it was bubbling up around this, this crease here. If it's bubbling up a little bit around that crease, that means you don't have a tight enough seal. That'll also create kickback. So you have double kickback. You have a kickback because of the tip dry. Then you also have a kickback because this isn't sealed enough. Okay, so remove the crown, clean the tip, and make sure you, you get a good tight seal, a hand seal. You don't want to do it with the tool, you know, but, but a hand tight and it should be good enough. Okay, and that's going to give you a better flow. Okay, but what's happening, why the paint is dripping out, is because now we're going to go into the third section here. It's because it apparently, it's apparent, and again, I have to say apparent because I'm working through a video, is that... This is the needle, okay? The needle, there's a nozzle in here. I'm going to see if I could get that out of there. Hold on, just bear with me. I want to show you how this works. Because the nozzle is also a separate piece. Give me a second here. Sometimes it gets stuck in there, okay? This is the nozzle, okay? Now, the needle goes into the nozzle. This thing sucks, I'm sorry. I wish I could get a better view of it. My hands are dirty, pardon. It's pain. I was doing a piece today. Um, so the needle goes into the nozzle, and it's supposed to fit flush into that nozzle. Into There's a little hole that the needle comes out of. If it's not fitting flush in there, you're going to create a little uh, uh, space there that's going to allow the liquid to come out. So make sure your needle's all the way pushed in. So those, those are the three things you want to do. You want to make sure your crown is removed. Okay, so that's uh, number one, make, remove your crown. Number two, you want to clear the tip dry from there and you want to make sure you have that, that centerpiece sealed properly. Okay, and number three, you want to make sure your needle is in there properly. Okay, make sure your needle is fully in there. Okay, uh, hopefully that works. Uh, if it doesn't work, let me know. Uh, it may be something else, but 99.9% .9 is one of those three things. Okay, peace.